So today I actually want to talk about five things I would love for you to automate in your event planning business. And if you don't already have these things in place, you definitely want to watch this video. Hi, I'm Jodianne Rowe, founder of The Event Certificate, and I'm a digital marketing expert for event and wedding planners. So today, I'm going to be sharing five things that you need to have automated today before you do anything else. So the first one that I need you to have automated is your contact or lead generation form on your website. So if you don't have a CRM right now, you definitely need to go sign up for one. And a CRM is a client management system. There's a couple of them out there, but there's three that I highly recommend you check out. And those are HoneyBook, Dubsado, and Owl Planner. And I'm going to link all of them down below for you so you can check them out. Now, essentially what this does is when you have this process automated, someone comes to your website, they complete a form, and it automatically kicks off a process in your CRM that pulls them in as a lead. It has all their name, their contact information, and any other questions you put in the form. It allows you to also just follow up with them automatically. You can set an email thread that just goes out to them automatically so you don't actually have to come in and respond until you have a moment to. So this is one of the first things you need to automate. The second thing, and this one is a little optional, but I do like throwing it in, and that's the chat option on your website. So many times when clients come to your website, they might look around, they think they like something they don't know, they click away and they leave, but you never get to encounter them. So if your website platform has a chat feature, I want you to definitely activate that automation because this will allow you to see when someone's on the site, the chat box will pop up and immediately ask them a question or tell them they can send you a message. And a lot of clients will do this. Sometimes they'll just have a quick message to send to you and right away you start a conversation that could lead to a booking. If you don't have a chat feature on your website, but you're on a platform such as WordPress, you can actually install a plugin to allow you to do this. So I'm going to link a couple of them down below that you can use that I recommend to get you started if you don't have it on your website. But there are some platforms, for example, Wix, even though as you guys might know already, Wix is not one of my favorite platforms, but they do have that feature and it's one that I really like that allows you to chat with visitors to your website. Now, while we're on the website, there's number three, and I'm going to throw it in, and that's a lead magnet. And a lead magnet is essentially a free piece of content that you have pop up on your website or is loaded somewhere on your site where clients will enter their email address and be able to download it. Now, I know a lot of event planners have some sort of feature like this on their site, but a lot of the times what you have is they have a newsletter box or sign up for updates. Here's the thing, let's say you're a wedding planner and I'm visiting as a bride to be and I'm looking around trying to make a decision. I do not wanna sign up for a newsletter for a wedding planner. Here's why, I don't know what this newsletter is gonna contain. I don't even know if I wanna hire you, I'm just shopping around. Neither do I wanna sign up for updates. So what you need to do is you need to ensure that that lead magnet is something of value. So research what your clients are struggling with most at the time when they're looking for a planner. Maybe that's finding a venue, maybe that's budgeting, whatever that is, and create a piece of free content that can help to solve this problem. Because when they enter their email address and they download this, you will immediately have a mailing list of potential clients. Because guess what? If someone's shopping around for a venue for a wedding and they came to your site, chances are they're looking for a planner and you now can follow up with them to try to convert them to a client. Now, number four, which is the fourth thing I want you to automate, is your client consultation process. I meet way too many planners who do not have some sort of automated calendar that clients can just click, select a time, and book a session with them. You should not be going back and forth with clients over email trying to figure out a date or a time. This wastes so much time and sometimes they drop off, you can't find them, you don't know where to pick up. I don't want any of that. Just send them a link, have the link on your site where they can click it, book it, schedule it, and you're just able to connect at the time that it's scheduled. This is a time saver, guys, and you definitely need to have it.
Now, the final thing is I want you to actually automate your review process. So I won't go through the process of working with your client because if you get a CRM, the CRM will control most of your booking process. So that's actually booking the client, sending them a proposal, sending invoices, collecting payments. So that was in tip number one. But number five is your client review. So your client review process is one that should never be forgotten and too many planners forget this. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to actually set up something if you're already on a CRM that automates this process. So what do I mean by this? Let's say you're working with me and you know my wedding is going to be April 30th. Right. So at the end of April, once that date hits, you should have a process where immediately, let's say every five or seven days, you can set the timeline after the end of the event. It automatically sends an email to that client requesting the review or a feedback that should never be left up to chance. You should not be like a month or two down the road trying to remember if you've collected a review and trying to follow up with a client. So those are the five things you definitely need to automate in your business. Now, here's the thing. All the tips that I drop, you probably noticed that a lot of them would be best if you signed up for a CRM. So as I said, I'm going to link a couple of them down below so you can check them all out. I'm linking the ones that I recommend, but there's a ton of others on the internet that you can check out. Sign up for them, try them out, see which is best for you. If you go through my channel, you notice there's a couple of them that I've also highlighted. I reached out to these companies and gotten them to do tutorials behind the scenes so you can see for yourself. And I'll also link those videos. Now, if you have any questions, drop them below. And again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.